Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. In tonight's segment, let's travel back to the medieval period and explore a series of wars that lasted nearly the length of the Middle Ages. When many historians speak of the Crusades, they often refer to the battles between Christians and Muslims for control of the Holy Lands, particularly the city of Jerusalem and the surrounding regions of modern-day Israel. But there was also a Western theater, if you will, of the Crusades, another region of Europe where Christian and Muslim clashed for dominance. This is the Iberian Peninsula, the regions of modern-day Spain and Portugal. Iberia was once the westernmost point of the Roman Empire and the very edge of the known world. The Apostle Paul planned to visit Spain on a missionary journey, but never made it there before his beheading in the 60s AD. When the empire was Christianized in the 4th century, the lands of Spain became the westernmost stronghold of Christendom. But in the early 8th century, a new religion invaded the region. In the year 711 AD, the Islamic forces under General Tariq bin Zayad crossed the Strait of Gibraltar from Africa and drove out the resident Visigoths, ancient Germanic tribes who rivaled the Romans and had become largely Christianized in the previous centuries. From there, the Muslim Umayyad dynasty was established. Some historians call this period a golden age of religious acceptance among the three dominant faiths in Spain, which at the time were Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, but the truth is perhaps more sinister. Christians and Jews lived as second-class citizens in Muslim-dominated Spain, and as early as the late 8th century AD, Spanish Christians began the campaign to return Spain to Christian rule. They called it the Reconquista. For the next 700 years, the Spanish Christian kingdoms began to expand from north to south. Now, this battle is fascinating for two reasons. First of all, its length. This battle lasted roughly 700 years, most of the duration of the medieval period. Spanish Christians and Muslims fought for control of Spain during that entire time. Second, the outcome. While the Christians in the Middle East failed to conquer the Muslims and were ultimately driven from the Holy Lands in 1291, the Christians in the West succeeded. By the end of the 13th century, roughly three quarters of the Iberian Peninsula was Christianized. This brings us to one of the most important years in world history, the year 1492. Several months before Christopher Columbus's historic journey to the New World, the Spanish kingdom under King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella forced the last of the Muslims in southern Spain to surrender, completing the 700-year Christian reconquest of Spain. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History. For more historical content, subscribe and click that bell to get notifications for when our next Moment in History comes out. Until next time, I'm Seth Udinsky.